Trapped by Robert D. Cardona and David Mitten. Captain Star's seven star tugs and Captain Zero's five Z stacks were enemies and rivals, usually competing with each other for work. But there was a time when they had to work together on a really important job. The tugs were asked to go upriver to to the big sawmill to collect timber which had to be brought down to the harbor. Big Mac, OJ, Sunshine, and Top Hat were the first of the star tugs to arrive at the sawmill. Zip and Zack were already there, having, having their barges loaded with timber. The star tugs lined up for ready for loading as Zip and Zack set off da- back down river. Zug was on his way to join them, but Captain Zero had asked him to deliver an old tramp steamer to the breaker's yard first. The tramp steamer was a huge, old, rusty vessel, and Zug found it very heavy to tow. Up at the sawmill, the crane loaded up Big Mac and OJ's barges. As they waited, OJ noticed another barge approaching. It was Billy Shoepack, the alligator tug. He always worked upriver, transporting essential supplies from the town, Mitzville, to logging camps. He was called an alligator tug because he was low in the water and dangerous. He carried items such as petrol and dynamite and fuses. Hey, Star Dogs, called Billy. Don't you wish you towed something more exciting than wood? No, thanks, Grit. Grinned Big Mac. Keep that stuff away from us. Dynamite's great, laughed Billy. Makes lovely big bangs. But safe enough if you know how to handle it. Down at Mitzville, Zug was still struggling to tow the old rusty tramp steamer upstream. It was hard work. Zip and Zack came past with their first timber lo- delivery. As they passed Zug with their loaded barges, Zack called to him. Hey, Zug, Zorn's waiting for you upstream. What's taking you so long? Captain Zero asked me to deliver this old rust bucket to the breaker's yard on my way upriver, explained Zug. Well, Zorn's waiting, and he's pretty angry, so you better hurry. I'm only obeying Captain Zero's orders. He can't blame me muttered Zug, and he continued on his way. As Zug steamed up river, he started to worry. A moment later, Zorn appeared. What are you doing with that? he yelled at Zug. We're all supposed to be moving timber today. Sorry, Zorn, but Captain Zero told me to take it to the breaker's yard. Okay, snapped Zorn. Let's get there as fast as we can. He moved behind the tramper to push it, while Zug towed it. But Zorn was stronger than Zug, and the tramper began to slip sideways across the river. I can't hold it, cried Zug, as the tramper swung round, hit the banks on either side of the river, and came to a halt. The river was now completely blocked, with Zug on one side of the tramper, and Zorn on the other. I'm trapped, cried Zug. I can't get past. You're not alone, cheered Zorn. The Star Tugs are trapped on your side, too, and that means the Zestacks have got the harbor to our, all to ourselves. Captain Zero will be pleased. And he set off back downstream, leaving the tramper firmly wedged across the river and Zug trapped up river. Sunshine and Top Hat, towing their loaded barges, arrived at the tramper and saw Zug looking upset. Good heavens, cried Top Hat. What on earth is that? Zorn pushed the tramper out of line and I couldn't hold it, explained Zug. We'll never get that clear to there, said Sunshine. That means we're trapped up here, frowned Top Hat. Probably, agreed Sunshine. I'll go back up river and get a crane. He released his barges and set off. Down at Mitzville, Zorn was surprised to see Ten Cents towing a covered barge upstream. 
I thought you stars were all up at the soul mill, he said. Wrong, Zorn, grinned Ten Cents. I'm making a special delivery to Midsville. Why, what's going on? There's been an accident, said Zorn. An old tramper's blocking the river. No one can get through. I'll go and see if I can do anything, said Ten Cents. And he hurried off upriver, leaving Zorn grinning to himself. Up at the logging camp, Sunshine saw Billy Shoepeck. Hey, Billy! he yelled. Where can I find a crane? What do you want a crane for? asked Billy. Something terrible has happened. An old tramper is stuck across the river, and we are all trapped up here. Do you know anyone who could help? Yes, me, grinned Billy. I'll blast it out of the way for you. And he shot off towards the tramper, followed by Sunshine. By now, Ten Cents had arrived at the tramper. Oh my, this is serious, he muttered. I hope the stars are all right. Anybody there? he called out. Top Bat raised his wheelhouse and his head appeared over the tramper. Hello, Ten Cents. Have you come to save us? If I can, said Ten Cents, I'll go and fetch a crane. And he turned to go back to Midsville. I'll be back as quick as I can. Do hurry, said Top Hat, and as Ten Cents steamed away. The other tugs gathered around Top Hat, beside the tramper. What a mess, sighed O.J., Captain Star will be furious. I warned him, you know, said Top Hat. I said working with Z-Stacks would lead to trouble. It wasn't my fault, snapped Zug. Ask Zorin. Huh, snorted Big Mac. One of Zorin's little schemes, no doubt. I should have known. Never mind that, said OJ. Why don't we lash up? Three, together three or four barges and make a battering ram to dislodge the tramper. The other tugs agreed to try it and began to tie together their heavily laden barges. Down in Midsville, Tensons had found Little Ditcher, the A-frame crane. Hi, Little Ditcher, he called. There's been an accident. I need your help to clear an old tramp steamer out that's blocking the river. Sure thing, agreed Little Ditcher. I'm all yours. And he and, he and Ten Cents set off up river. Back beside the tramper, the tugs had lashed together their heavily laden barges. Wait till I give the word, then push as hard as you can, ordered O.J. Ready? Steady? Go! The tugs rammed the barges into the side of the tramper, but it wouldn't budge. It's no good, sighed O.J. He noticed Sunshine coming back. Let's hope Sunshine's found some help. Sunshine pulled up closely, followed by Billy Shoepack. Hi, fellers, cried Billy. I heard you need some help. This is, This sounds like a job for me. I thought you were going for a crane, Sunshine, said Big Mac, not an alligator. Sunshine, you as you got someone else coming, haven't you? said O.J. angrily. You don't need anyone else when you've got me, said Billy, raring to go. I've more than enough dynamite to blast that thing out of the way. I'll soon set you all free. Blue is all sky high, more like, muttered Big Mac, scowling, as he backed away from Billy. Downstream from the tramper, Ten Cents was still towing Little Ditcher along. That little feller won't stand a chance with that with a tramper that size, said Zorn as he came hurrying past him on his way back up river. Hey, Zorin, called Ten Cents. Where's the rescue team? Zorn ignored him, and Ten Cents felt sure that Zorn had not bothered to report the accident. He obviously wanted to, to keep the stars trapped up river for as long as possible. 
Up beside the tramper, Sunshine pulled Zug clear as Billy Shoepack set up the dynamite. All ready for the bang? asked Billy. This could be a disaster, O.J., muttered Big Mac. Look, Big Mac, we it's already a disaster. We're all trapped up here, as, and things can't be, get much worse. What have we got to lose? Here we go, cried Billy as he lit the fuse. Stand by. Ten, nine, eight. I hope we're far enough away, shuddered Big Mac. But on the other side of the tramper, Zorn had just arrived, hoping to speak to Zug. He moved up close to the tramper, just as Billy Shoepack shouted, Three, two, one, fire! Kaboom! There was an enormous explosion. The tramper split in two with a loud crack, and there was a roar as all the water that had been building up behind the cassated through the gap, carrying Billy Shoepack with it. Geronimo! shouted Billy, and he as he shot downstream. What a bang! But as the water surged through the gap, it picked up Zorn and carried him towards the bend in the river. Out of control, he was washed up onto the rocks, and there he was stuck. The other tugs came carefully through the gap and steamed down to the bend of, in the river. Looks like you've got a problem there, Zorn, laughed Big Mac. Zorn scowled. Right, everyone. Back to work, ordered O.J. The problem solved. Thanks to me, grinned Billy. You didn't think out I could do it, did you? And he set off back up river, feeling very pleased with himself. For once in his life, Billy Shupak had done a great job. As, as for Zorn, he had plotted to trap the star tugs and had ended up trapped on the rocks himself. The End